Happy birthday! Liam greeted with a smile and gulat na napalingon siya rito. Liam was wearing a tux. Mukhang sinadya nito para paresa ng suot niya. And with that smile on his face and a single stem blue rose in his hand, gumawa pa ito na baka ilang beses sa paningin ni Samantha. Her favorite flower. How did he know about it? For you. Thank you. She returned his smile kahit sa loob niya parang nagbubuhulbo na sigmura niya. What are you doing here? Why was she feeling that way? Sinusundo ka. The party is about to start, Samantha. So, let's go? Um, is it? Wait lang, wala pa akong sapatos. Ani ang luminga para hanapin ang sapatos na kasama ng damit na regalo sa kanya ni Liam. Nakita niya iyon sa paanan ng kama niya. Pero bago pa siya makagalaw, inunahan na siya ni Liam na kunin ang sapatos. Salamat. Sabi niyang kukunin sana rito ang pagbalik nito. Sit back, Samantha, and let me, he said. Tas na upo para isot ang sapatos sa paa niya. What was he doing nakakahiya? Relax, Samantha, Liam said, chuckling slightly. Tapos tumingin to sa kanya with amusement in his eyes. She blushed even more. Di naman marumi ang paako, di ba? Aniya just trying to kill the growing uneasiness inside her. Of course not. Let's go, he added offering his arms for her to hold. She hesitated. Pakiramdam ni Samantha hindi tamang kumapit dito. Kaya sa halip pumawak, gaon niya ang hinawakan niya. Tara! She walked ahead of him. Narinig na lang niyang tumawa ito ng mahina bago sumunod sa kanya. Sa likod bahay pala nag-set up yun ng maliit na party. And by the looks of it, it was unreplanned. Hindi last minute change of plans iyon kaya nang pahiwati kanina ni Auntie Minerva. Liam said he asked his agency to send temporary replacement para sa mga kasambahay at security team. Kaya nandito silang lahat. Thank you. Nalulohang sabi ni Samantha. Na-appreciate niya sobra ang gesture. Samantha, I apologize if I cannot invite guests. It's totally fine. Gagad na Samantha na itaniyak pang tinignan ito sa mata. This is more than enough for me. Thank you so much, Liam. This is nothing kumpara sa lahat ng dumaang taon na hinayaan kitang mag-celebrate mag-isa. I'm so sorry. He said sincerely. Oh, I was never alone on my birthdays. Don't mention it. Huwag ka mag-sorry. It was not your responsibility. They sang happy birthday to her, and Samantha was happy. She knew it might be unfair but a huge part of her happiness was seeing Liam sing with them. Pakiramdam niya ibang tao to. Hindi yun ang mga karaang araw lagi siyang pinapagalitan. At din ni Samantha ipagpapalit ang sandaling iyon. They had a small program after what everyone said her birthday wishes for her. She was most touched by Auntie Minerva's message though. The woman never married. Dahil nung dumating siya sa buhay nito labis tong nawala sa kalagayan niya. Tinuling siya nitong anak at pinalaki sa pangalaga nitong parang isang kadugo. Thank you, auntie. Miss Samantha, isa lang hiling naming lahat na sana maging totoong kaligayahan mo. But I'm really happy, auntie. Makahulugan lang siya nitong tiringnan. She thought they were moving on to the next part which was syempre kainan. Gutom na kasi talaga siya sa totoo lang. And it's already 8 in the evening. So when Liam asked if they could dance, halos literal na nagulat pati yung kumakalam yung sikmura. For a moment, she did not feel she was hungry at all. What? Are you gonna embarrass me? Come on, Samantha. Di lang naman kasi siya makapaniwala. But when she recovered, she smiled at him. Di niya inaasahan ang tila kuryenteng nanulay mula sa kamay niyang nadikit sa parad nito. Muntik pa niyang mahina yon kundi mahigpit ang pagkakahawak nito. Liam frowned at her. Awkward naman siyang umiti. Did he feel that too? Pero mukhang di naman. His expression did not change anyway. Do we really have to dance? She asked to hide her awkwardness. Not really, but I want to take this opportunity to dance with my wife, whom I have abandoned for so long. He said as he gently guided her to a slow dance. It's your birthday, but did you forget? It's also our 6th 20th anniversary today. Namilog ang mga mata ni Samantha. Why she totally forgot the wedding anniversary din pala? You really forgot? I'm sorry. Anya naman. It's just that I never celebrated it before. All I ever looked forward to on this day is my birthday. Paliwanag ni Samantha na nais ko to sana sarili. To think na naroon si Liam, asawa niya ito. Paano niya nakalimutan ang bagay na yun? Pero nawala sa isipan niyang one, six years ago, they got married in her 18th birthday. It's fine, sagot ni Liam. It's partly my fault why you did not want to remember our wedding day. And no, it wasn't like that. Somehow she wanted to defend herself in a way na hindi ma-offend si Liam. I know it's already late if I say this, but I want to apologize for not attending our wedding. Liam cut her. 
Nataman to nakatingin sa mga mata niyang bahagyang namilog dahil sa apology nito. I could have attended but I did not. I just couldn't bring myself to... It's okay. Si Samantha naman ang pumutol dito. Don't mention it, Liam. I understand. She couldn't blame him, could she? He was forced into that marriage. Samantha was not the one he wanted to be with a day like that. Kaya naiintindihan niya. Saglit na natigilan si Liam habang nakatitig sa nakangiti niyang mukha. Pagkaraan ay tipid din itong umiti. And every time he smiles like that, Samantha is not failing to see how his smile never reaches his eyes. I have something for you. Saglit itong tumigil sa sayaw at tumukot sa inner pout at ang suit nito. I noticed that you don't like wearing your wedding ring so I'll give you this necklace instead. But she supposed that she did not need to explain. Alam niya alam nito kung bakit niya suot ang wedding ring nila. At alam niya parehong rason yun kung bakit ang suot nitong singsing ay ang dapat wedding ring nito at ng ate niya many years ago. For some reason, details like that prior to her sister's death were very vivid in her memory. Samantha let Liam put the necklace around her neck as she muttered her thanks to him. Samantha thought that after that night, mas maging maayos sila ni Liam pero ganun pa rin. Formal to sa kanya sa opisina, parang ang mas pumormal pa. Di naman sa nagkaroon sila ulit ng pagkakata makapag-usap. Marami kasi silang trabaho ng sumunod na lunes. Kahit sa Samantha, hindi maganda tuto sa ginagawa. Pero ang dalawa niyang kasama may panahon pang mag-flirt sa bagong adating na assistant na Liam. Samantha remembered him to be Harold Gordon, ang lalaking dumating noon sa kasal nila ni Liam. He came from the US where he attended a two-week business summit on Liam's behalf. Kaya wala ito ng malipat sa Samantha sa pagiging secretary ni Liam. When he saw her kanina, hindi naman ito nagulat. But he politely smiled at her. Malamang alam nito ang bawat desisyon ng amo nito. Her promotion included. Nang magkaran sila ng pagkakataong saglit na makapag-usap na wala si na Leone at Ashley, he addressed her as Mrs. Dejos. Samantha will be fine, Mr. Gordon, sabi ni Samantha. I cannot call my wife boss by first name basis. Tugo naman ito. Mr. Estrada will do then. I'm sure alam mong ayaw malaman ni Liam ang ano niya ako. Of course. Numiti ito bago magpaalam sa kanya dahil dumating si Ashley. Ang lande? Pasaring na komento ng babae bago naupo sa mesa nito. Baliw. She retorted in her mind. Bakit nila landiin ang assistant kung asawa niyang boss? Then again, it's not like she could tell her. Kaya na nahimik na lamang siya. Bully pa. When the afternoon came, therefore, graced the presence of a very beautiful lady. Pero sa lalo itong sinalubong ni Harold at dinala sa opisina ni Liam. Ang ganda niya talaga. Humahangang ani Leone. Ang mga katulad ng talaga niyang Josa ang may pag-asa. Sa puso ni boss, sabi naman ni Ashley. Mayaman, maganda, edukada, socialite, saan ka pa? Dagdag pa ni Leone. Samantha looked at the direction of Liam's office as she clenched her fist under her table. Who was that woman? Hoy Samantha, ba't para ka natatai dyan? Puna ni Ashley. Nainggit ka ba? Pinasadaan siya nito ng tingin. Wala kang laban. Isuko mo na yung lady mo kay Mr. DeJos. Si Miss Wendy ang babaeng bagay sa kanya. Hindi mga katulad mo kung kanin-kanin ako makapit para ma-afford ang mga mamahaling gamit. Yang quintas mo, regalo ng sugar daddy mo? Sabi naman ni Leonie. Samantha counted down from ten in her head. Tapos gumiti siya sa dalawa. Ngiting may lason. Since alam nyo na, nabalita nyo na ba yung huling nagsabi ng salitang sugar daddy na nasibak sa trabaho? Nanguuyam ang ngiti ni Samantha. Ingatan nyo mga sinasabi nyo. Baka last nyo na yan dito. Pikontalo sila na umirap ang dalawa at bumalik sa kanikaniyang trabaho. Si Samantha naman hindi mapakali. Who was that, Wendy? Why must she visit Liam? Business associate kaya ito? Kliyente, perhaps. Busy ang mga kamay niya sa ginagawa pero ang utak niya sabog sa mga isipin. No! How could Liam see another woman? Ano na lang iisipin ng ate niya sa langit? Masasaktan ito for sure. Hahayaan ba niya yon? Mariing umiling sa Samantha. Miss Estrada? Untag ni Harold nang kung di pa ito pumitik sa harapan ng mukha niya, hindi pa ito mapapansin. Mr. Gordon, mulala si Samantha na tumayo pa sa pagkabigla. May kailangan ka? Sa sulok ng kanya mga mata, nakita niyang inggit at tinis sa kanya ng dalawa niyang kasama. I need to visit the mall in the east. Isasama sana kita. Sure, ngayon na ba? We will leave in ten minutes. Will that be fine? Mabilis siyang tumango. Tama-tama. Kailangan niya rin naman itong makausap tungkol sa Wendy na yun. Sigurada siyang alam ni Harold kung anong relasyon nito kay Liam. And she was right. Pagkalabas sa pagkalabas nila ng premises ng opisina, nagsalita ito kahit di pa niya tinatanong. There is nothing going on between Mr. DeJos and Miss Lee, Mrs. Estrada. 
Ompesa ni Harold bagamat sa daan na katutukang pansin. Talaga? Eh ba't kailangan mo pa akong isama palabas? You are not supposed to do a branch visit on your first day back here, right? Harold chuckled lightly. I know the university was right to award you with the highest honor, Mrs. Estrada. Tama ka. But since the boss is occupied at the moment, might as well utilize the time properly, right? So why did you have to bring me out? Nagdududa pa rin tanong niya. Because Mr. Dejo said so. Sabi mo walang namamagitan sa kanila. Must I be concerned about that woman? Look, Miss Lee is your husband's escort whenever he appears in important client meetings. Tomorrow meron siyang parting dadaluhan at kailangan siya magpo-post sa girlfriend niya. Paliwanag ni Harold. Hindi si Samantha nakasagot kaagad. Somebody was posing as Leon's girlfriend in his important business appearances? Di ni Samantha alam pero hindi siya komportable sa ideya. You don't have to worry about anything, Miss Estrada. It's purely business for Mr. De Jos. You've known him. He's a one-woman man. Then why must I leave while he talks to Miss Lee? I don't know. Maybe he's not comfortable that you have to see his woman in his office. He's guilty then. If he had nothing to hide, hindi niya ako kailan pa alisin. I will understand as long as it's purely business like you said. Aniya pero nagingit-ngit siya sa loob niya. Hindi niya mapapatawad si Liam ko sakali. How dare he disrespect her sister's memories? Naiintindihan mo nga ba, Mrs. Diyos? Naranan siyang tanong itong bahagya siyang tinapunan ng tingin. I've been working for your husband since he assumed the chairmanship of the Diyos group and that was the three years before the two of you got married. Wala pa ko nakita mas kasi ng babaeng nakalapit sa kanya maliban kay Miss Lee. So she must be pretty important to him, no? Harold sighed. Di siya nito makumbinsing ganun lamang iyon. Samantha saw the excitement on the woman's face. Diyan mo kang nagpapanggap lang. And besides, she overheard him last week while talking to someone whom he said would see him on Monday. That must be Wendy Lee. Don't worry though. Ani ang umiti pa ng pilit. She felt something weird inside her chest. Parang nahirapan siyang biglang huminga. As long as he doesn't replace my sister, it's fine with me. Harold frowned at her but did not say a word. She supposed that they were on the same page. It's the company's anniversary this Friday. Are you coming? What am I talking about? Of course you must come. Dinaanan na Samantha lang si Harold pero nakadalawang pangungusap agad ito. She had just walked Wendy and Liam to the elevator. Ang babae magaling kasi ay inutusan siyang bitbitin ng bag hanggang nakabresyete ito sa brasa ni Liam. Muntik na nga niyang ihampas yun kay Wendy kung hindi siya nakapagpigil. Besides, Liam's eyes told her not to do anything. Hindi ka ba sasama sa business party na pupunta nila? She asked him. Alam ni Samantha kung bakit kinakausap siya ng assistant ni Liam. He was trying to pull her thoughts away from the couple who just left the office together. Nah, but I'm following later. Mr. De Joss needs me to bring his gift to the host. Bakit di pa din lang ngayon? Para mabantayan ko sila? No, she denied his guess. I just thought it's full efficient. Fuel efficient? Pumalatak to. Malakas ang loob nitong buskahin siya. Dalawang nang una wala si Liam. Pangalawa, nakabreak ang dalawa nilang kasama. Hindi mo na kailangan ihatid. O oh, eh diba, tipid sa gasolina yon? She rolled her eyes. Tinawanan ni Samantha si Harold. As I was saying, anniversary ng kumpanya this Friday. Everyone from the main office must attend. Tapos sa mga branches officers lang. Will Liam be there? Hindi siya pumunta sa anniversary. Alam mo na, he doesn't like showing his face. Pero since this year is a masquerade party, he might come. Really? Di ako sigurado. Sabi nito. You must come, Mrs. De Jos. The party will be fun. Don't call me that way. At saka siguro naghihintay ako ng instruction ni Liam. Pupunta ako kapag sinabi niya. Great! Tago ni Harold na inexcuse ang sarili ng dumating sina Leonie at Ashley. Sir Harold! Pinabayaan ni Samantha itong idilang dalawang halatang nilalandi ito. Samantha's mind was occupied by Liam and Wendy. Escort service in a strictly business manner nga lang ba talaga ang lahat? But her gut feels tell her otherwise. At ko idadagdag pa niya may weirdong hero siyang nararamdaman sa puso niya. Something that aches at the thought of seeing her husband with another woman. It couldn't be right and she was sure. That strange feeling was not for herself, it's for Nikki. Right, she was hurt on Nikki's behalf. Samantha shook her head and focused on her task at hand. Siguro kakausapin niya si Liam kung may pagkakataon. But Samantha never got the chance. Nang sunod na araw, lumipad papunta ang ibang bansa si Liam. Shouldn't be any problem on her part had he flown alone. But no, Wendy was with him. Kahit andun si Harold, hindi pa rin komportable si Samantha. Just how long had that been going on? Na meron tong kasamang babae sa mga official business trips nito. Ganun ba ka-importante ang presensya ng babaeng yun? 
Kung di pa sa Samantha nalipat sa secretary's office, hindi niya manalaman. Why didn't he tell her? Isa pa if he must present someone as his girlfriend, hindi ba mas convenient na siya ang dalhin nito? They were married to begin with, and he did not to pay her. Hold up, Samantha. At bakit mo gugustuhin yon? She asked her reflection in the mirror. Nasa restroom si Samantha. Inilamos ang inis na nararamdaman niya. Didn't you say that you're okay with the setup you have with Liam? Sa inis, walang paalam siyang umalis ng opisina. Sa puntod ng ate niya, siya dinila ng kanyang mga paa. And there, she poured all her frustrations out. What do you think, ate? Must I confront him about this? I can't let him continue seeing that woman. Kahit pa business purposes lang. Halata namang hindi lang yun basta business para kay Wendy. What if she takes advantage of the situation? Wait, she's an escort. Do you think they're sleeping together? Sa naisip, lalo nagpuyos ang damdamin ni Samantha. Because why not? Liam is a man. Imposibling wala itong biological needs. Kasama kaya yun sa services ni Wendy? Gusto niyang iuntog ang sarili sa naisip na yun. Samantha, ang dami mong mag-isip? She told herself. Later that night, Samantha did not come home. Nagpaalam siya kay Auntie Minerva na mag sleep over siya kay Nasalina. But because her friends was out on a date, she ended up staying at Raleen's place. May babae pa nga siyang didatnan sa unit ito. Haratang katatapos ng maglampungan ng dalawa. Nevertheless, Roland dismissed the girl at inasikaso siya. What brought you here again, Ms. Estrada? Shower first, filthy man. Tumawa ng malakas si Rolin. Don't worry, Samantha. We did it in the shower, so I'm clean. Yuck! Ani ang binagsak ang sarili sa sofa. Get yourself a boyfriend and try it, Samantha. It's fun. Tumatawang dagdag nito. If I would try it, I would marry, mister. Huwag mo ko itulad sa'yo. She rolled her eyes at him. One of these days, you might just catch HIV. Then again, wasn't she a married woman? Yeah, right. She is married to a man who couldn't act to do, she thought. What's why was she even thinking of that? Judgmental. I choose my woman, mind you. Whatever. So ba't ang haba naman ang uso mo? Sita nito bago na upo sa kaibayo niya. This is getting frequent, Samantha. You're acting strange these days. May problema ka ba? Bula. Di siya sigurado kung kaya niya magsabi kay Rolin. Di niya alam para siya mag-open up nang hindi siya nito pinagdududahan. Kailala kita. Dalawa lang kayo ni Serena, hindi ko pa kayo makakabisado. You're going through something. Huwag mong hintayin na magpagalaw ako ng galamay bago ko alamin sa akin. Sabi ni Rolin na may halong pagbabanta ang tinig. Namilog ang mga mata ni Samantha. Rolin could surely do that. May ability itong gawin yon. You wouldn't dare do that. I might, he shrugged. Have you eaten yet? Oh, forget it, Rollin. Huwag ka magluluto, I'm too young to die. Baka kapag natikman mong luto ko eh, dito ka na tumira. Mayabang nabalik nito sa kanya. Dahil again, hindi ko gustong nalito ka lagi. Masisirang reputasyon ko. Pagiging babaero mo? She rolled her eyes. Ano ang pinunta mo rito? Tarong nitong bahagyang pasigaw. You disturb me and my girlfriend. My second round pa dapat kami. So you better have an important thing to say. Why do you men don't settle with just one partner? Ines sa tanong ni Samantha. But then she realized that might as well be a good starting point. Why settle with one when we could have just anyone we like? Bumalik tong may tanga na slice cake at juice. She knew it. He wasn't the kind who could cook. Minus point si Rolin yun. Ganun lang? What about your girl's feelings? Di ba importante yun? Samantha, First of all, I make it clear that I want from them. If they're not okay with it, they're welcome to let the chance to taste me slip. Banyak? Ako sa ni Samantha. Liam did make it clear with her na hindi siya nito po pwedeng pakilala sa publiko. And she agreed, didn't she? How about a married man? Is it alright for him to see another woman? Eh kaya nga hindi pa ako nagpapakasal. I don't see marriage as something I could take lightly. Once married, you have to stay loyal with your other half. Seryoso nitong tagon.